What is up guys? It's your boy Rick Rapid Fire Cacus and today we're talking auto rifles. Specifically, we're going over a bunch of legendary auto rifles that you absolutely want to take out of your vault, infuse, acquire if you haven't, craft, level up, all of that stuff in preparation for the possibility that these things become meta. Now, why is that? Well, Bungie recently announced that auto rifles were getting a 25% damage buff for PvE within the upcoming mid-season update. So it's entirely possible that these things, especially with some of the PvE god rolls we're going to be going over today, might become some of the best PvE primaries in the entire game. So, starting things off, we actually have what you're going to be seeing in the background gameplay, and I actually made a tweet about auto rifles and a bunch of people replied with what they were excited for. This was by far the number one result that kept popping up. It's the Gnawing Hunger, an absolutely infamous weapon. It was once the Scourge of the Crucible and has always been a good PvE weapon. I have the uh, curated roll here with Overflow plus Rampage, phenomenal weapon. It can also get Subsistence, it can also get Demolitionist, but guys, this thing has great stats. It's an adaptive frame, 600 RPM, and it's Void. So right now, void weapons are cracked beyond belief, especially thanks to the seasonal perks such as Volatile Flow, where you always have Volatile Rounds, so it is so easy to simply replace the void primary weapon in your existing void builds with a gnawing hunger after the buff rolls through. But guys, moving on from there, the next one we have here is the Refuse's Fury from the Root of Nightmares Raid. This is actually a Strand rapid fire frame auto rifle. We're off to a great start here, and this thing can get unbelievably good rolls. RNG hates me, so I haven't been able to craft it yet, but yes, it is craftable. It can get Demolitionist in the left hand column, extremely rare and super valuable. Demo is an amazing perk. Then you can pair it with something like Paracausal Affinity or a bunch of other perks, including Target Lock, to get that damage increase. Just arguably the best strand primary weapon in the entire game for PvE. Then, guys, moving on from there, my veterans will know this one's coming, the Chroma Rush. This is another rapid fire frame, however, it's kinetic. This thing has incredibly good stats and it can get the role of subsistence plus rampage. Amazing for just clearing out ads so easily. And with that 25% damage buff, this thing is going to be schmelting. All right, next up here, we have another rapid fire frame, this time for the stasis side of things, it's the crate. Like, guys, this thing has always had crazy good god rolls. Overflow plus one for all is what I have. I mean, doubling the magazine when you walk over a special and then one for all, one of the best damage increasing perks for auto rifles, incredible roll, but this is just the uh, tip of the iceberg for the rolls the crate can get. A lot of people have great rolls of this thing just sitting in your vault because it's been a roll drop weapon for so long. Definitely time to dust it off. But next up, we have the Duty Bound. Now, this is an old Nightfall weapon, so I have the Adept version. You don't need that at all. And I have a kind of middling roll with Stats for All plus Frenzy. But this is on the list because it is, I think, the only auto rifle in the game that can get the Stunning Recovery Nightfall Origin trait, where Stunning a Champ is going to refill your magazine, give you health regen, improve... Re like, it is just a fantastic bonus when you are using an auto rifle specifically for dealing with, you know, in a good example, overload champion. So definitely something to consider, especially again, if you're doing something like higher level content where you're really concerned about running into a lot of champions. Now, moving on from there, the next weapon we have is the Seventh Seraph Carbine, but the new version. Uh, so this was a very old weapon added back in Season of the Worthy. Then it was a drop from the Spire of the Watcher dungeon when it was re-added to the game. And now it's a world drop weapon for whatever reason. But at the end of the day, even though this is a precision frame, and I do personally think that the rapid fire frames are in the best position to kind of become like the meta choices if auto rifles are buffed enough, 
this can get some amazing roles. Like the role I have here of a reconstruction, potentially doubling your magazine size, automatically reloading it when it's stowed, combined with target lock, which is one of the best and most impactful new perks added with this season, um, or I think the season previous, but still like this thing is absolutely incredible right now. This is a very good god roll to look for. And again, it's a world drop now, so a lot of people have access to this thing. And then moving on from there, speaking of a world drop weapon that a lot of people have access to, it is the brand new Lodbrok C. This thing can get some great, really great rolls. And the gunsmith has been selling some pretty good rolls like this one right here, fourth times the charm. So every four precision shots, you get two back, combined with target lock, such a combo. So you put this thing over a more powerful enemy's uh, crit and you just hold the trigger, you're getting ammo back and getting the damage increase from target lock. But this can also actually get, as I mentioned earlier, demo in the left column, which I love. So I'm personally looking for demo plus target lock as my kind of most wanted god roll for this thing. This is a high impact frame as well, so the highest damage, slower shooting, and we're really gonna have to see how the archetypes play out after the buff, but, you know, having some options for all the different archetypes and then just kind of utilizing what turns out to be the best archetype is probably the play. Moving on from there, guys, next up in the, you know, energy weapon category, first of all, we have one a lot of you guys have pretty much every everyone watching has access to the Amit AR2. So this is a craftable weapon, but when it was added to the game, it was also a world drop weapon along with the Taipan. So you probably just randomly got two red borders of this thing, and that's all you need, two red borders, dismantled it or whatever, and you have access to craft this thing. But this is a solar weapon, it can get Ambitious Assassin plus Incandescent. Incandescent is one of the best perks in the entire game, especially if you are running a solar build. So again, if auto rifles are going up in value, they're getting buffed, having a craftable weapon so you can even get enhanced incandescent for even more scorch stacks uh, for this thing, this could be really, really powerful. Next up, guys, another craftable weapon. It's the Sweet Sorrow rapid fire frame arc weapon. This uh, can get stats for all, which is an absolute wombo combo with the other perk it can get one for all. So you simply hit three enemies, which isn't hard to do with a rapid fire with like 60 rounds in the mag, and then you get a boost to most of your relevant stats and uh, like a 35% damage increase for a considerable amount of time. Very good combo. And the land tank origin trait is still, in my opinion, one of the best PvE origin traits we've ever seen. Actually increasing your outright damage resistance for getting kills. Like, very, very viable. And I had to throw this one in here, guys, for the OGs. The last weapon we're looking at today, the Shadow Price. An old Nightfall weapon, so this doesn't even have origin traits. However, it can get the PvE roll of Overflow plus one for all, and this can get actually 100 range. Like if you get all range perks you put on Adept Range, you will max out the range stat. So if auto rifles after the buff do end up being very viable, but you want to use them in end game content where you want to have a little bit more distance between you and the enemy, something like Grandmasters, which I actually have used the Shadow Price in in the past, by the way. Yeah, having outrageously good range is definitely a very positive thing. And so guys, that is gonna be it for the video. Now that is certainly not it for all the good potential auto rifles in the game. Those are just the ones that I personally am going to be pulling out of my vault and infusing and trying out when this buff drops. So guys, let me know in the comment section any other auto rifles or auto rifle god rolls that you are really looking forward to trying out after this buff. That is it for the video. Hope you enjoyed and found this informative. If you did, please remember to help me out by simply rating and especially sharing this video. If you guys want to see more Destiny 2 content similar to this, don't be afraid to slap that 
subscribe button. If you want to get in touch with me and keep up to date with the latest channel activity, the best way is to follow me on Twitter at Rick Kakis. That is linked in the description down below. Again, I hope you enjoyed the video and as always, have a good day.